Hi guys, and welcome back for week three of the Homemakers Challenge, where every day in December I'm challenging myself to take on some sort of cleaning or organizing task in my home to bring about a little bit more order and functionality. Um, so this week I really want to focus on the organizing uh, aspect of it and optimizing and making the most of the little bit of storage space that we do have in this house. Um, the spaces I do have, I maybe have not made the most uh, efficient use of in the past and I want to get better at doing that. So that's what I want to focus on this week and while I do that I also want to talk about some of the realities that have um, been becoming apparent to me as I work my way through this challenge. So today is day 15 and today I am in my closet. We were here briefly last week. Um, so my task for today is to start figuring out what doesn't need to be in here basically. So I sh had showed you that we were redoing the bedroom that comes into this closet. Um, so that room has not, we have not been actually using it as a bedroom ever since we moved here. We're basically using it for storage when we moved in. Everything just kind of got dumped there, all the boxes and things we didn't know what to do with. And it had been that ever since. Um, so now that we have finally got it cleared out and uh, redid it, we painted, we put in uh, carpet. So now that we're finally going to be able to use it as a bedroom, now it's going to be more practical for us to use this closet for our storage, clothes storage space. As you can see, I've already got some of our clothes in here, the stuff that just hangs up mostly. But I would also like to get the rest of our clothing in here, you know, the the things that are normally folded and put on shelves or in drawers or whatever. So I want to get all that in here. And um, for all practical purposes, I should definitely be able to do that. This is a pretty big closet. Um, there should definitely be enough space to do that in theory. The two roadblocks that I have to it at the moment are that there are a lot of other things in here right now that aren't clothes. Um, that and... I am probably going to have to add some infrastructure, some shelving and, and things like that um, because there isn't a lot of that right now while I have all these shelves up above, but that's not super practical. I mean, I'm short and I can barely reach it, so I don't want my clothes that I need every day up there, right? I'm going to have to figure out a way to do that um, where we can more practically access it for daily use. So that's what I need to do and to start doing that today I am going to start going through the stuff that's in here and I want to figure out what I think actually needs to stay in here, what can go somewhere else in the house, and what needs to just go, needs to be donated, thrown away, whatever. So that's what I'm going to start on. So I've just got a box of books I'm going to be sorting through here while I talk about the first um, kind of reality that I've had to accept as I'm working through this challenge, and that is that it's not going to be fast. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, this is very much going to be a long-term project. And also, you know, the thing that we always kind of have to remember with uh, cleaning and things is that it's, it's not done. A lot of it's cyclical tasks, um, you know, some of it on the daily, you know, we're always doing dishes and laundry and cooking and things like that. Um, but, it, it, you know, even the things that don't need to be done as often, we're still going to have to redo them. It's not like it's a one and done thing. It's not like you just clean your bathroom one time and then you never have to clean it again. And of course, you know, it's not like I didn't know that, but it's just part of the thing you have to accept. It's not like at the end of this month, my house is going to be perfectly clean and I'll never have to do anything again. And that's not what it's about. But that's just part of it that you have to accept is that it's not going to happen overnight. Um, I do, and I don't expect that my house is going to be perfect by the end of this. I don't expect my house is ever going to be perfect, but I don't expect that it's going to be spotless. But what I expect is that it will be a fair amount better and that more importantly, I will be a fair amount better at improving these things so that I can continue to do it. This is not just about this month of December. Um, this is about changing habits and um, 
life choices <laughs> so that we can continue to improve over time. And that's what life's all about on any front, right? So gonna keep sorting all this stuff and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. morning guys back for day 16 um today back in the closet again so i'm going to show you what i ended up doing yesterday i was able to remove i'd say half of what was on this top shelf over here and what was left i condensed over on that end and then i've also put some things up there that were over here on these shelves on the other side of the door and as you can see i've started to put um zach's work clothes over here so that's what i'm gonna try to finish doing this morning um i've got a load of those that i washed yesterday so i'm gonna fold those and put them here and that's probably all i'm gonna get to today because we have to leave here in a little bit but I'm gonna start a little bit with actually getting some clothes in here and what i wanted to talk about today was the fact that is the fact that this is not going to be linear. So yesterday I talked about it's not going to be fast. It's also not necessarily going to be linear. There are going to be days throughout this challenge and also throughout just <laughs> from here on out. There will be days, there will be seasons where I have more of other things going on and that's not going to afford as much time for me to focus on this stuff. And that's okay. Um, you know, like yesterday, I got, I was able to spend more time on this than I'm going to be able to spend on it today because we have to leave and we're going to be gone um, most of today again. I'm going to do this. I am going to um, drop off some more clothes and toys to donate on our way. But, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm going to spend probably 15 minutes in here this morning and that's going to be pretty much it. And that's okay. And there will be seasons of life like that next summer when I'm busy doing gardening and other things more. Um, this is probably going to take the back burner again. Um, there will be days where I don't get as much done. There will be days where I backslide even. And that's all right. Um, the thing I'm after is an overall general average improvement. And uh, also just not stopping, not, let, not letting myself get back into a super deep hole um, and just working on um, building the habits to just work on little bits of things here and there so that I don't get so far behind that it's so overwhelming that it's um, hard to get back to my kind of normal again. So anyway, going to work on getting these clothes in here and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, today is day 17 and as you can see I just cleaned off my kitchen table mostly so I can sit down and address some Christmas cards because I've been procrastinating. Probably isn't the best idea I've ever had because talking while writing is an almost sure way that I'm going to mess up what I'm writing but we're going to try it. So, today I wanted to talk about how everyone has different circumstances. 
in a lot of different ways. Everyone has different backgrounds, skill sets, like we've talk, talked about, um, different habits that were instilled in them growing up, different priorities, um, and different external circumstances. Also, everybody has different um, houses and things going on with them to begin with. Um, some of us are living in newer or older houses, things that might need more work than others, and, you know, we've also, also got different um, resources that we can allocate to th those things, you know, whether that be time that we can devote to working on things, um, money that we can spend doing certain things um, to improve our homes or maybe outsourcing cleaning tasks and things like that. Um, and there's, you know, obviously nothing wrong with um, any of those things, being able to do them. But, you know, just it's not just something that's accessible to everyone. And so it's really important. That's one of the reasons that it's really important to not try to compare ourselves with others because, um, especially when we don't know those circumstances, uh, this is particularly important when we see online, easy to see, houses that are just decorated with all the new newest trends and it's easy to try to compare your home to that but you have no idea the circumstances behind that um, what their financial situation is like so really not fair to anyone to make those kind of comparisons so let's all try not to now I'm gonna get back to writing so I can actually concentrate on it and I will talk to you guys tomorrow Hi guys, day 18. Um, it's very late actually. It's close to midnight. Um, I am wrapping some gifts and I'm letting myself count this as my task today because I really haven't had time to do anything until now and I need to take advantage of um, when she's asleep to be able to wrap her gifts. So it's not really uh, cleaning or organizing but I still consider it within the realm of um, homemaking tasks, particularly this time of year. So I'm counting it. Um, so today I wanted to talk about how during this process, during the challenge, during um, trying to get better at these housekeeping tasks, that um, there will probably be some trial and error. And that's something that I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm pretty good at accepting that and then other times I feel like I very much get stuck in this idea that things are permanent when they're not necessarily. So sometimes when I'm trying to think of a way to do something better, to like, particularly organizing things, I, I will think about it for a very long time before I do anything and I can kind of get stuck thinking that I have to have it all thoroughly planned out and I have to figure out the exact right way to do it beforehand. Um, so that can, one, um, make it take longer <laughs> before I actually get to doing it. And then I can also kind of get stuck in this thing after I do it that what I have done is permanent and can't be changed and I can't change my mind and if I've spent all of this like time and energy and resources into doing it this way that I can't change it and that's something that I need to get out of <laughs> because um, you know what's that saying don't don't hang on to a mistake just because you spent a long time making it or something like that and you know it's not even always necessarily a mistake it's just discovering that maybe something didn't work out quite as well as you thought it was going to and it isn't um, turning out to be the best solution. So that's all just needing to, excuse me, accept that um, there will be some trial and error and we may have to try things, some things more than once before we figure out the best way to do it. So. Anyway, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, back in the closet for day 19. 
Um, I've been in here doing a little bit of measuring and I think the next thing I want to do is, so I've got this upright two by four here, um, but then there's all the space between here and the wall and there's all the space underneath this stuff that's hung. It's, sorry, it's really dark in here, but most of this is just shirts and uh, Macy's clothes, which is all, you know, pretty short. It does not hang all the way to the floor. I do have a few long things, dresses and stuff, but they can go over on this other side. So what I would like to try to do is I have a short dresser um, that has some of Maisie's clothes in it. And I think I want to bring it in here and try to put it under there. And I've measured it. It will fit. Um, but to actually make it happen, I have to move, move a few things here. Of course, that's not a huge deal. But. I've also got my desk here, um, and it's just in here temporarily because it was in the room that we just redid. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to try to just, you know, the dresser will not fit past it. I should be able to get the dresser in here, but the desk is either going to have to move or go out. And I don't know, see, I don't know if I want to put it back in this room or if I want to put it in the room that the dresser is coming out of. This is exactly the kind of thing that I was talking about yesterday where I feel like I have to have everything planned out all these steps and I have to have it right before I do it and I mean there's nothing wrong with trying to figure that out because it can save us some time and energy uh, rather than trying something and then realize it doesn't work but it can also prevent me from getting things done because I get stuck in my head and I'm like eh, eh, I don't know which way to turn so <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to get over that and one way than one way or another I'm gonna try to get that dresser in here tonight. That's my goal for today, is just to get that dresser in here. So I'm gonna go make that happen somehow and I will show you what I ended up doing. All right, there it is. So I did, I was able to just scoot the desk over enough to get past it, so avoided having to make that decision tonight but anyway that is in here um and I can shove it back further if I want to it's not all the way up against the wall but I left it out a little bit so I can see in the drawers easily more easily um I think I'm probably gonna end up having to put another light somewhere in this end of the closet there's just the one over there I'm using the flashlight on my phone right now so you guys can see but um it hasn't been bad so far where I've just um, had to come in here to look for stuff that was hanging, but to be looking in drawers and things like that, it's probably going to be pretty dark. I'm saying I'm going to have to put up a light, but anyway. So today's reality that I have to accept as I am working through this challenge, I'm working on, um, becoming better at housekeeping, um, as I'm working to come up with solutions that work for me is what I come up with, what my house ends up looking like. Um, the solutions that I have that work for me and work for my family might not look the same as everybody else's and that's okay. Um, everybody has different circumstances, backgrounds, everybody's brain works differently and the things that work best for me for organization and all that might not be what works best for everybody else and that's okay. It's all about what's figuring out what works best for you as an individual. Um, so for example, I already talked about how I'm um, much more focused on function over aesthetic, especially in places like in this closet where not everybody's going to see it. You can see these walls. This wall is just a, it's not low bearing or anything. It's just a partition that was put up. This all used to be part of the one bedroom and they just put up this partition to create this closet. Personally, I do not care that it looks like this inside. I don't care that the shelves are, you know, just made from two by fours and chipboard and boards. I don't care. That doesn't bother me a bit, especially being in here where nobody sees it generally. Um, other people that might bother a lot, they might want to put in nicer looking shelving and uh, finish this wall, put drywall up and whatever, and that's fine. But um, personally, I'm not worried about that and that's okay. It is functional and that's all I'm concerned about. It meets my needs. Doesn't have to meet anybody else's standards, that's okay. Um, other things, just how my brain works differently for storage. Um, I'm not a huge 
closed door, like, cupboard person. Of course, I have some because there's some in the house. But that is not my preferred storage method. I've even found that I'm not a big dresser person. I mean, I have this one. I have another one. It's not, it doesn't, it, it's not the best thing for me. It's not that I don't use them. It's not that I don't have them in the house. But given the choice, I prefer um, things like open shelving because I'm very much a need to see it to know that it's there and where it is person. Out of sight is out of mind for me. Um, when things are where I can't see them, I forget they're there, I forget where they are, and that can lead to some problems. Sometimes uh, it means I can't find things when I need them. It makes it hard for me to remember where things are if I don't see them on a regular basis. Um, and it can also lead to waste, um, particularly like with food. Um, if I have food stored in a place where I don't see it and I forget it's there, um, you know, it can go bad, get outdated. It can, I'll forget I have it and I'll go buy more when I don't need more of it. Um, but that can also happen with things like clothes, um, especially, I've got a toddler. We all know they grow super fast. They're changing sizes like every other week, it seems like sometimes. <laughs> a slight exaggeration, not when they're babies. But I've had several instances where I um, either bought or had given to us clothes that were too big for her at the time. So I was like, yeah, no problem. I'll hang it up or I'll put it in a bag somewhere and I'll get it out when she's that size and then... I run across it after she has already grown out of that size because I forgot it was there. So just things like that that can uh, happen when things are out where we can see them. So anyway, we're all different. Our brains all work different and we need different solutions to um, the problems that might arise. I'm going to figure out what works best for me. You figure out what works best for you and we don't have to compare and it's okay if it's different from other people's i will talk to you guys tomorrow good night hi guys day 20. so today well let's start yesterday it's a little bit dark in here but last night my two pups here um had an encounter with a skunk for the first time uh hopefully the last time at least for a while <laughs> but anyway they uh, had a skunk encounter, so it was kind of late when it happened, so I didn't have time to bathe them last night, um, but that got some spray that we put on them that knocked most of it off, and last night I took their uh, pen here down to the garage, and uh, they spent the night out there, and uh, then today I was able to give them a full bath and so they smell much better now um but since they since I did all that and they were freshly laundered and since I had their pen moved out of here anyway I decided that would be a good time to clean their little corner here um sweep mop the floor freshen that up so I did not film any of that because I was in a hurry at the time so they, I could uh, get them back in here <clears throat> but anyway so sorry you're just gonna have to take my word for it that I did in fact do that um and that is that's my task today was the <laughs> washing of the dogs in their area um because that's what needed to be done <laughs> today so anyway it is it's pretty late now. It's like 11.30 and I'm pretty tired, um, but I still kind of smell like wet dog and uh, light skunk undertone, so I'm going to go shower and go to bed. But uh, that was today's task and also wanted to talk about um, today's thing, which is that, which is that... Uh, my solutions and our needs and <laughs> tricky. Um, what works best for us might change over time. So that yeah, can be an ever changing thing throughout seasons, throughout seasons of life. Things, um, solutions that work right now might not work in the future and I might need to continue to figure out different ways to um, 
deal with the same or different issues as they come up. So I might come up with clothing storage solutions and all that that work great now and that's awesome. But down the road, um, if things change, uh, e even the, especially clothing like during seasons. In fact, that's one of the reasons that I'm struggling so much right now. Um, I was actually doing pretty good with the storage, clothing storage in the bedroom we're in right now during the summer when we didn't have as many uh, clothing items out and they were, you know, lighter weight clothing, which takes up less space. But as we have moved into the winter months, we're getting out um, more garments and heavier, bulkier things, you know, hoodies and heavier jeans and all, and all that kind of stuff that just naturally takes up more space. And uh, so the places that I was keeping them just wasn't working anymore. So different things like that that can change with the seasons that just naturally what you're doing might have to shift along with it. And uh, that kind of comes back to my issue with permanence like I was talking about that sometimes I, I have an issue with that um, th that idea that sometimes I feel stuck with the way things are and I, I kind of get in that mindset that that's the way it is and I can't change it and and that's something that I need to work on getting past is accepting that things do change often and I might have to change what I'm doing with them so um anyway I will talk to you guys tomorrow and we'll wrap up week three hi guys day 21 uh, final day of week three, and I thought I might as well finish out the week where I started it here in the closet. So I'm going to try to um, finish clearing out underneath this section on the floor. Right there's where I just put the dresser. So I'm going to get this out of the way so I can maybe um, put some bins or something under here that we can use for clothing. So I just need to clear out this little bit of junk, and then we'll talk for a second. All right, got that done. Now, the final reality that I wanted to touch on uh, regarding this challenge, and life in general, I suppose. Um, this is not about cleaning. I am cleaning, I am getting cleaning done. My house is cleaner than it was when I started, and I hope that trend continues. Um, but that's this is not just about cleaning. Um, the whole point of doing this challenge and doing it the way that I am is not about the cleaning, although that's happening. It's about working on myself to get better at doing all of these things. So it's about building the habits. It's about, um, you know, intentionally looking around every day and looking for these things that I can do to work on getting better at this rather than avoiding them. It is about um, organizing and finding systems that work for me. It's about taking an honest look at uh, myself, um, trying to identify my strengths and weaknesses, using my strengths to their best advantages, and looking at the at my weak points and saying, okay, how can I either work on that to get better, or what are some tools or systems or help whatever that that might help me um, either improve on them or work around them work with them um, so yeah that's uh, that's really what the whole thing is about is being less about the cleaning the the kind of surface um, stuff and going a little bit deeper and figuring out the reasons behind why I struggle with certain things and what I can do to improve upon that. So anyway, um, today is the 21st, but this video is going to go out on, it'll be published on Christmas Eve. So I hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week.